Hello friends. This video is brought to you by MyWayTeaching.com. Let us see how expanded form can be made easier by using exponents. We know that if we have a number 1425 that can be written as 1 into 1000 since 1 is in the thousands place similarly 4 into 100 as 4 is in the hundreds place plus 2 into 10 plus 5 into 1 using exponents same thing can be written as 1 multiplied by 10 cube plus 4 multiplied by 10 square plus 2 multiplied by 10 power 1 plus 5 multiplied by 10 power 0. Hence exponents have made it easier to write expanded form of any number. Let us see what happens if this number has some decimal values as well say 0.36 then the expanded form can be written as 1 into 1000 plus 4 into 100 plus 2 into 10 plus 5 into 1 plus 3 into 1 by 10 plus 6 into 1 by 100. Now using exponents we know that 1 by 10 is same as 10 power minus 1 and 1 by 100 is same as 10 power minus 2. So using this we will get the expanded form as 1 into 10 cube plus 4 into 10 square plus 2 into 10 plus 5 into 10 power 0 plus 3 into 10 power minus 1 plus 6 into 10 power minus 2. It is clearly visible how the negative exponents have helped us in expanding the number very easily. Please read the question on the slide. We have to find the value of 2 to the power minus 3 and 1 by 3 to the power of minus 2. So let us start with the first part. 2 to the power of minus 3 is same as 1 by 2 to the power of 3 which is equal to 1 by 2 into 2 into 2 which is equal to 1 by 8. Let us start with the second part. 1 by 3 to the power of minus 2 can be written as 1 by 1 by 3 square which is same as 1 divided by 1 by 3 square and which can be written as 1 multiplied by 3 square by 1 which is equal to 3 square equal to 9. Notice that we have done some extra steps here. Otherwise we could have directly written 1 by 3 to the power of minus 2 as 3 square. But to explain that how 1 by 3 to the power of minus 2 will change to 3 square. We have tried to explain that on division changing to multiplication the rational number becomes the reciprocal and hence we get 3 square. But in our later questions we shall directly use it. Please read the question on the slide and let us start with the first part which is minus 4 to the power of 5 multiply by 
minus 4 to the power of minus 10. We can notice that we have same base. So, our rule can apply and we can add the powers. This will be equal to minus 4 whole power 5 plus of minus 10 which is same as minus 4 whole power 5 minus 10 which is equal to minus 4 whole power minus 5 and which is further equal to 1 by minus 4 whole power 5 and the rules that we have applied are a power m multiplied by a power n is equal to a power m plus n and the other rule that we have applied is a to the power of minus n is equal to 1 by a to the power of m. Let us start with the second part of example 2 which is 2 to the power of 5 divide by 2 to the power of minus 6 which can be written as 2 to the power of 5 divided by 2 to the power of minus 6. This is similar to our identity a to the power of m will divide by a to the power of n is equal to a power m minus n. Applying this identity we will get 2 to the power of 5 minus of minus 6 which is equal to 2 to the power of 5 plus 6 which is equal to 2 to the power of 11. 